Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle. I also run a blog called Coco Styles NY where I talk about how to style certain things like jeans and jackets with shorts, whatever you can think of. That is the blog for you. But in today's video, I'm going to give you guys five tips on how you know you need to go shopping. Now, ladies. We shop often just because, or just because. <laughs> and what happens is you end up with things in your closet that you probably won't wear this season and then next season it's outdated. So I have been doing a really good job at purchasing things that I know that I need to have a functioning wardrobe. So this is how I came up with this list because I initially was having the trouble of most of these at first. So the first thing is you stare into your closet, you have a closet full of clothes, but you never have anything to wear. That is a telltale sign that you need to either go shopping or you need to declutter your closet and go through some things to figure out what is it, what it is that you actually do need and what it is that you have to take out of your closet. So that is number one. You have a closet full of clothes, but you never have nothing to wear. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two would be your closet kind of makes you upset when you go in there. Like you go in and you're like, I have nothing to wear. I hate this. I hate that. I am a firm believer of your closet is like your sanctuary. So if you're going into your closet and you hate it, it's time to revamp the whole thing. That's a lady's place for, just for herself, her little private place, her little private sanctuary. So if you can go into your closet, redecorate it, design it to how you want it, even if you have a really small closet, they have so many tutorials and Pinterest has so many ideas on how you can revamp your closet if it's small or if you have a actual room or a regular walk-in closet. So that is number two. Hey guys, so the audio cut out, but number three would be you are a chronic re-wearer. And most of the time people are like this is because they do not have their closet essentials that allows their closet to be a functioning wardrobe. So I would say, and I will always recommend you guys checking out some of the closet essential videos and get those into your closet so your closet can be Don't functioning. Really love it. You probably bought it again last season. Now you have it for this season and it's totally played out. So that's another way to know that you need to go. And I'm saying need to go shopping because we always want to go shopping, but doesn't necessarily mean that we need to go shopping. So that is number three. You are a constant re-wearer. Number four would be you're missing the basic essentials. Most of the time we don't have anything to wear because we don't have basic things like the basic essentials like a white tee, a black tee, a white button up, a black button up, a camisole, maybe a cardigan, a leather jacket, a, um, what do you call those things? <laughs> I'm having a brain freeze. A trench coat, <laughs> a black blazer. Those are the things that every closet should have because honestly, you can take those key items and make so many outfits out of it and never feel like you don't have anything to wear. So let's take a blazer for example. Okay, so you have a basic black blazer. You can wear it with some jeans, a little tank under it, some pumps, a cute bag, you out the door. That same blazer, you could also, also wear it with trousers. You could also wear that blazer with a skirt. You could also wear that blazer over a dress. You can wear it with a, <laughs> so many things you can wear it with. So having the basic closet essentials, wardrobe essentials is a key to having a functioning wardrobe guys. So that is number four. And number five would be most of your stuff was gifted. Listen, we all love a free gift, we do, but most of the time it's something that we really don't love. And someone, you know, that's close to us, loves us, and wants to purchase something for us, but they don't really know your actual style. So what happens is you have a closet full of things that people, people have gifted you. And I'm guilty of that, I have stuff. 
but I feel like I'm gonna wear it one day. <laughs> so I probably need to do another closet edit soon. So those are my five tips on how you know that you actually need to go shopping and not want to go shopping. So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles. Actually, there's no underscore anymore. It's just Coco styles and why guys so i will see you guys in the next one bye